Okay, continuing back here at the engine, uh, we're going to start up here with the fuel tank, and uh, I like to do all the fluids and all the dirty work all at the same time, so we'll stick the tanks and do all the fluids at the end. But uh, Tank, uh, make sure there's uh, no damage to it, you don't see any leaks, uh, give it a push, make sure it's secure. Up here, we're going to look, uh, check the vent line coming up here. It comes right up, and then it goes back down, it comes to a T, which you can't see right now, but then it comes up to the other tank right there and uh, they both bent together. If you're flying along and uh, you find that one tank's empty and the other one isn't, you could have a blocked uh, vent line. There's a little ball that sits up in here and that could be stuck. Uh, you want to check the cap, make sure the cap is secure. And it's down and it is. You want to make sure it's grounded to the scupper right here and there should be a sticker on there. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. There we go. Uh, aviation minimum grade 100, 130 usable fuel. It's 57.5. Make sure your sticker's there and it's not peeling off. Now we're going to come down. We're going to check the scupper. Give it a push. Make sure the scupper is secure. Check under here to make sure there's no cracks where it's uh, attached at the bottom. The attach points here. Looking around, it all looks good. What the scupper does is it uh, collects fuel. If you spill some, if you've got some uh, uh, leak in here, it's going to collect in the scupper. Then it's going to come down right in here in this tube, and the tube follows, and it brings the fuel right out down, and it shoots it out the back here. That way, it doesn't get on the engine and uh, start a fire. Okay, coming down underneath here, we're going to check the uh, Lord mount. Make sure there's no cracks in here. No cracks anywhere. Looks like it's in uh, good shape. Uh, check these bolts here, right here and here. You should have a space here, and these tabs should be bent over. Should have a bend to them. If you come up and you find that the space is gone and these are straightened out, well, that means uh, somebody's had kind of a hard landing with the helicopter, and uh, you need to get that fixed and check a few things other than that if you had a hard landing. Looking in here, we're going to check the uh, uh, tube here. It's a cooling tube hose that goes over here to the generator. And we look in a little further, we're going to check uh, the fan drive there. And stick our hand in and check the belt. Give it a little push. Make sure it doesn't go in more than about half an inch until it gets tight enough. And you want to check uh, on the front. And I'm going to have to get a flashlight to do this for you. What you want to do... Let's see if I can zoom in. Here, yeah, I'm gonna need a flashlight for this. What you want to do is check that bolt on the front of the pulley. In there, now on the front of the pulley, you can see right there. There's the bolt, and there's a there's a wire. Uh, there you go. You can see the wire right there. If that wire right there is not there or it's broken you want to get that fixed you do not want to fly the helicopter if that's not wired in place all your control rods go up in there and uh, if it took out the control rods you'd be in serious trouble so make sure that's uh, safety wires in place the oil cooler is right here we're going to follow the line into the oil cooler here and make sure there's no leaks we got the thermostat here check the front of it make sure it's clean there's no damage to any of the fins now you follow the line right here and follow it down and make sure that's in good shape there and it comes down and here's the oil filter make sure that's not damaged wires are good there's no leaks and you can follow the line right around to the pump here make sure that's in good shape and no leaks okay Hey, here's a picture of the same uh, oil cooler, except this time uh, we show a heat shroud on it, and uh, that takes hot air off the oil cooler and brings it into the cockpit for uh, defrosting and uh, uh, heating, which is unusual in the fact that uh, most of them come off of the uh, exhaust manifold. And we were pre-flight in the same way. We're checking for leaks, checking for security, checking for any cracks, make sure the shroud is uh, secure, it's clean, no damage to the vents. And we'll check the flexible hose that goes down in the cockpit.